Hi guys, B. Haynes here. So, uh, I am going to do my hair update. It has been one month exactly since I did my big chop. Yeah, yeah. Either 30 days or like 31 days. So, either way, it's been a month since I did my big chop. So, I have to do a hair update. And I'll update you on um, what stuff has been like working for me. I'll do like my top 10 holy grail hair products um before i get into that i do have to make a couple of apologies um i know that my makeup viewers i have slacked off on updating my makeup videos which i will i'm going to tape like a few videos today and tomorrow and kind of upload them um over the next few days but i had two giveaways one i forgot to announce the winner for and to the winner of either my last giveaway or the one before, um, I mailed out, see here it is, I won't put her address, but I mailed it out and it got returned because I did not have a complete address. Um, I didn't have a, a um, apartment number. So yeah, it got returned and I kind of left this sitting on a kitchen chair for I'm gonna say a couple of weeks so I honestly forgot to resend it but I will resend it um because I did notify her and she did send me her apartment number so yada yada so I'm gonna resend that one um and I need to pick a winner for my last giveaway it was like an accessory giveaway so to make up for it, I'm gonna pick two winners and I'm gonna give out two prizes instead of one so just as a reminder um the winner will get some foil bangles there's 10 of them in there they'll get a pair of these little like basketball wife style earrings those are really cute i wore those like the not these but you know the same kind of earrings the other day and they'll get one of these u-shaped um european charm bracelets bing bang boom so i'm gonna tape that in another video um i'll pick two winners and um i'll throw that in another video so I don't run too long because, yeah, because people hate that. Okay, so just stay tuned and I'll upload that one either today or tomorrow. So I'm going to run through my hair update. Okay, so hopefully you can see. I think my hair has grown a little. I don't know. I can't tell, but I feel like it's grown because it definitely feels like thicker in the middle. And it's grown the most like up here in the top this top part was the longest part anyway because when I um, got it cut I wanted this part a little longer because I was debating about getting a mohawk um, but then I decided not to so I got my edges tapered like the one time and then I saw a hairstyle that I liked online and in order for it to work I have to let my edges grow back in so that is why I have not gotten them tapered again because I need them to grow in and then I'll just get the sides like kind of evened out but I gotta let them grow in so so far so good my hair is weird it is very porous I've learned it dries really really super duper fast um yeah which is I don't know kind of a hassle um because right now my hair is so short that I'm just doing wash and goes I'm doing the curly girl method um but i have to do wash and goes every morning because i cannot get second day hair i don't know if eventually i'll be able to work it out when my hair is longer and maybe i can do like um twist or bantu knots or something or braid outs but right now i have to do wash and goes every morning this thing right here it has a mind of its own so i just have to do wash and goes in the morning i can't do the nightly wash and go and then like revive it in the morning oh no my hair is like a flat mess in the morning so that doesn't work for me so i'll keep doing it like this for right now so i'm gonna run through my top 10 products that have been working for me um of course if you have been watching my channel um for my makeup vids you know that i am a product junkie i would never deny it i am a straight up like incurable product junkie so obviously I've moved on to or ventured over into now hair products aside from just beauty products so yeah my obsession has grown so I'm gonna show you like um just my top 10 I will do some brand reviews because I have gotten like a few brands I bought I bought a lot of products out of a few brands so um, I'll do some brand review videos I'm on vacation for mm, probably another week and a half so I'm going to try to bang out some videos, record them, and edit them during that time, and I'll see what I can get done for you. Okay, so first up, um, 
let's see i'll go through conditioners now this is stuff that's really really been working for my hair number one bam i showed you this in my big big chop video the shea moisture raw shea butter restorative conditioner this stuff oh this is my thing right here okay so remember before i had like the little bottle because i got like the sample set i had to go buy a bigger bottle and this is how much i've used out of it because i use this pretty much every day no matter what um other kind of conditioner i use so normally what i do is use one conditioner as just a straight rinse out something cheap like the tresemme naturals or the vl5 moisture milks those two i cannot leave in my hair um as the leave-in i know lots of people can i cannot it makes my hair really cottony and soft but just too fluffy and no defined curls it's just kind of a fluffy cotton ball to me so i can't do it but i just use it as a rinse i'll get my hair clean and then I'll use this because this one, it says on the back, of course, you could use as a leave-in or rinse out. So usually I do this, leaving it for a few minutes, wash like, or rinse like half of it out, and then plot it with a with a t-shirt. So I leave like half of this in. So that works good, and it makes my curls like really defined because they need help. <laughs> Next up, um, okay. These two I use, I'll show you both, as deep conditioners. This is the Aubrey GPB uh, Balancing Conditioner. You can get this at, um, like, I think um, Whole Foods, Feel Right. I get it at my local co-op, but you can get it at any, like, health food store usually. I'm sorry, and this one you can get at Walgreens or Target, some CVSs. Um, yeah. So this is what I do with this because my hair, because I do everyday wash and goes, my hair needs some protein um, and some extra moisture. So I put this on my hair once a week as a pre-poo on dry hair. I like saturate my hair, put it on, put on a shower cap. Sometimes I'll add like oils like castor, jojoba, coconut oil and leave it on for 15 minutes. That's it. No more than 15 minutes. It tells you only 15 minutes and then I rinse it out um, it makes my hair like kind of crunchy and stiff because that's the protein so then um, after that I shampoo my hair with the Shea Moisture um, shampoo and then I deep condition with this the Giovanni Smoothest Silk um, Deeper Moisture Conditioner and I leave this on my I put to saturate my hair with this leave it on for five minutes rinse it out and it's soft and strong so um i need both so when i do protein i have to do like back it up with some moisture i have learned through trial and error so um let's see okay so next up bum, 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 bum. this oh, i love so much okay this is a shea moisture deep treatment mask um this again you can get a like target cvs or walgreens um it's like 9.99 10.99 depending on where you get it so this you can use as a deep treatment mask. You can use it as a hair styler. Um, what I normally do is when I leave in a little bit of this, I put a little bit of this on top and it works out good. So my hair doesn't frizz up and my curls are really defined and feels good. And yeah, so that's what I do. Um, and I learned that on YouTube because a lot of people were trying to figure out how the heck to use this and it didn't work for them as a mask. and. It didn't work that great as a styler, but the two mixed together on wet hair works good. Okay, so I showed you this in my last one. I am still using these. You see how much I've used this Kinky Curly Knot today. Yes, yes, yes. This, I don't know. I can't even explain it. I can marry this. It's so good. I love this so much. I haven't seen one person who doesn't like this. Not to say there aren't, but I haven't seen one person on YouTube who does not love this. This is the, like the best leave-in I feel like ever invented. Um, and you can get this everywhere. Target, Sally's, um, everywhere. You can get it lots and lots of places. And the same with the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. I literally can do my whole head with like, I don't know, less than a quarter size. So I've been using it for a month and it, you see that's how much it's gone. Just that little bit. And I just put it in my hand like this and sh 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 scrunch, 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 um, when I want some hold because other products I use, they don't have any holds and this does, um, yeah, keep these curls in place and make some hold. Okay, so I only have five minutes before my 
battery is gonna die so I'll talk fast um okay then I have two curls products one is the passion fruit curl control paste this is a pomade um it makes your hair you know lie down flat and it's kind of shiny it's shiny when it goes on but it's not shiny once it dries but it smells yummy and yummy it smells like um fruit and then this is the curls blissful links uh coconut kooky nut it's i don't know uh oil elixir okay so this one i use it's supposed to be growth stimulating hair and scalp elixir so i've been using it to oil my scalp um that's how much i've used since i've had it i probably had this like mm, three weeks or so um and sometimes i scrunch it through my hair and my hair looks dry so my hair doesn't really like um oil on top of it that much i've learned because even like a day later I'll go like this and all the oil will still come off of my hand. So oiling my scalp, I've learned, is better for me. Um, and if you hear a lot of noise in the background, that is my dog playing with his Christmas gifts. He's throwing them all over the floor. So, sorry about that. Blame Bentley. He's noisy. Um, but if you like these Curls products or you want to check them out, they have no sulfates, silicones, parabens, mineral, or petroleum oils. And the website is www.curls.biz. So, but I picked these up at my local Rite Aid. Step it up. I'm so happy about Rite Aid stepping it up. The one near my house, not so great. The one near my job, um, for some reason, has all these new natural products, and I'm so grateful. So, um, so I got a bunch of Curls products, but I'll do them in a review them in another video. Then I got this Jane Carter Solution Curls Defining Cream yes yes this is what i need this is what i've been looking for so um i could just wet my hair like you know under the faucet put this on there and i could literally like see my curls starting to define and pop and it makes them loose so i didn't use it today because my curls look real tight but this makes them loose and they dry loose which i love so this was slightly pricey it might have been like 15 16 bucks something like that um, I think they also sell this at Target, but I feel like it was worth it. And then lastly, my number 10 product, my soft bristle brush. Yes. One side, this brush only costs like a dollar fifty, I think. Um, at the beauty supply store. So one side is hard, one side is soft. I just wet it, put my pomade on my edges, and then I go like this. I need to do that today because yeah, my edges are a little unruly right now. But that's what I do. Bing, bang, boom. So that's all. That's it. So that's my top 10 products for right now. And um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, of course. I'll be happy to review any of the stuff that I've used. Or if you have any questions about my hair growth process, just leave them and I'll answer them. Um, and as always, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. It is totally free.